Come to Northwestern's campus on a Saturday morning and you'll find a couple of pleasant surprises. For one, some visiting students are quite a bit younger than the typical college crowd, say between three and eight years old. And second, there's a whole lot of music in the air. It's part of a series of concerts called Kids Fair, and it's been developed by the Northwestern University School of Music to create a sound appreciation for young ears. <laughs> Frederick Hemke has been a professor of music at Northwestern for almost 50 years. Here, he is conducting a concert called Wild About Saxophones. As a professor of music, I think that my, my position transcends just teaching saxophone. Saxophone is just a means to an end, and the end is to have people enjoy music. And the younger you can start with that, the better. For more than a decade, a concert series called Kids Fair has been put on by different ensembles of students and faculty. The simple goal? To entertain and educate the listeners and musicians of tomorrow. The Kids Fair, over the years, has involved conductors, it's involved on large ensembles, bands, jazz bands, uh, individual instruments. We've tried all kinds of ways to be able to open up what music is about to young people. For these young people, the Wild About Saxophones concert makes it possible for them to focus on a wide variety of sounds that can come from just one piece of a band or orchestra. The saxophone is a very versatile instrument, and that's something that many people don't know. The saxophone often gets stereotyped as a jazz instrument, and it can do so much more. If you want to have a real reaction to music, you go to kids, because they do it uninhibited. They're not inhibited by anything at this point. We want to bring them in and show them that it's not so bad to come to a concert hall. There's nothing scary about uh, being in a concert hall and listening to music. In fact, it can be a great deal of, uh, of fun. Dancing, or clapping, or conducting, or singing, or uh, coming on stage and fingering the instruments, whatever it might be, you want, to, you want to remove the barriers that exist between the stage and the audience. We want them to be part of the whole process of listening to and creating music. Junior Sheldon Johnson and sophomore Nessia Buder say giving up their Saturday morning to be part of Kids Fair is not only rewarding, but fun too. Kids make everything fun. They have energy about them. And, uh, you know, there's not the, press the pressure of perfection that there normally would be because I think the kids will enjoy anything we present. Mainly, I hope that the kids have a fun experience, that they en enjoy it, and that they come out of it knowing what the saxophone is, and hopefully they find something maybe that they really enjoy and they didn't know about before, something new. It's also an opportunity for parents and their children to enjoy music in a kid-friendly environment. Kids can learn to love music, and um, the way it's done, that you don't feel like if the kids start crying or start like moving around, you don't feel like you, you need to leave right away. I think it was a great introduction for him to sit through a concert and to hear music and see what it's like to experience, you know, being in a concert and having music played for you. So I think that. He really, he really got a kick out of it, and we did too, watching it. I was happy because there was going to be saxophones here. It's great to get exposure to different kinds of music and different instruments, and I can tell that she, you know, she learns from it because she'll recognize an instrument as we're listening to music, and definitely makes a difference. At Kids Fair, the Northwestern students and faculty don't expect all the young listeners will grow up to become musicians, but they do hope the exposure will make all these kids better listeners and ultimately allow them to appreciate music in a whole new way. I hope they would leave with a smile on their face and a sense of well-being and a sense that they really had a good time. And I would hope that they would feel that way anytime that they heard music in the future. Here it comes to the end. OK.
Okay, put out your hand to hold them. And now say, stop. Stop. All right. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, guys.